Hey y'all, Siegel here. Um, I don't know where the music for the main menu went. It was there before, but every time I launch the game now, it's not there. Maybe it's not there in this build. But anyway, uh, today we're playing uh, Rushdown Revolt, which is a platform fighter. It's kind of like, if I were to describe it, um, it's kind of like a mix of melee um, with, if you've ever played Guilty Gear, Kind of, I want, I kind of want, I don't, mm, sorry. I don't want to say the Roman cancel mechanic, but it's kind of like that. It doesn't slow down time, but you're able to cancel off of your, it's kind of like a more advanced form of L canceling. Um, it's just really cool. Um, right now, as you can see, like right above me, um, the open alpha, it started on the 28th of last month. Um, it's going till the 15th. Right now, as of this recording, it's the 4th. You got some time. Um, if you want to go out and play it, very fun. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to go through the tutorial um, to show you all pretty pretty much what the game the game mechanics are. And then I'm going to try and get some matches real quick. Right now it's like almost two o'clock, so I'm assuming people will be playing. But at the same time, it's also like Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday, so you know maybe people will be at work. I don't know. <laughs> But well, we're going to try, first we're going to um, get into the tutorial. Alright, um, so part one. Roller. Three, two, one, fight! Welcome, Wei Shen. Have you prepared well for your journey? I know I cannot dissuade you, but I ask that you humor an old man. Let us go over the basics one last time to put my mind at ease. Hold forward to move. Run to my arrows. So as you can see, you know, simple moving. Remember, movement on the battlefield is the basis of everything. And mastery of rush allows you to move faster than everyone. So uh, this is basically um, your wave dash. Uh, learning to rush will serve you well in combat. Practice until you have mastered it. So you can wave dash, you can dash dance, uh, you can rush in midair, which we'll, we'll get to, but wave dash. It, it's, not, it's not even like how in melee where you have to like angle yourself towards the stage. You literally just hold the button, you know, I press the button. Very easy. Okay, so press jump to reach these points, you know, jump, simple. Impressive. Now let us combine these techniques. First, jump to my target. Uh, sorry. Jump to my target. I will then remind you how to perform an aerial rush. Now press rush while holding forward to perform your aerial rush. During an aerial rush, your speed will defy even gravity for a short while. Try using it as a third jump sometime for a maximum height. Now, let's see you use jumps and aerial rush to make, these qu to make quick work of these. What goes up must come down, so they say. Well, they never had Master Kubido for a sunset. With Rush, it's possible to stay in the air infinitely. All you need is Spark. Come once more to my targets here. I will show you the way, Wei Shen. Now attack while holding forward. Did you see what just happened? When you hit the target, you gained a Spark. Spark is earned by hitting an opponent with any melee hit. You know what uh, else is earned each time you hit somebody? Another Rush as well as any other once per air time moves such as an up special or other special moves. Now rush upwards again. Well done. As long as you keep hitting enemies or keep getting hit, there's no um, limit to the amount of rushes or specials you can use per air time. Try using my endless supply of targets to alternate attacks and rushes to see how long you can stay in the air. But whenever you're ready to proceed, I have one more thing to teach you in this lesson, the super jump. So as you can see, well, well sorry, I fucked that up. As long as you keep hitting the target, you can keep rushing. You keep getting spark. Look, it, it seems like... I don't know, maybe... I'm not gonna say it doesn't seem uh, cool. But, like, when you're actually in a match and you're just you're hitting them and rushing all over the screen, like, the game gets crazy. Alright, it's time for you to learn the ultimate movement option, super jumps. With super jumps, you can close any gap or reach any height. They're so powerful, though, that you will need to spend your spark to use them. If you have no spark, you will not be able to super jump until you hit someone. For the purpose of training, I will give you unlimited spark now. Now, let's super jump. With super jumps, you can only activate them while on the ground. 
or one on the ground, but you can angle them to the left or to the right or straight up by holding a movement direction. When you super jump, you can still jump again mid-air or rush immediately afterwards. Feel free to play around with super jumps in my target, but there's much more we need to cover when you're ready. So I don't really use super jumps that often, but you can, uh, I can't show it on this target because it's in the air, but you can, um, oh yeah, you can do it right there. Because you can like whiff, uh, you can whiff and still cancel, um, uh, spark cancel. So like I could hit you with, uh, my forward tilt, and then when it sends you flying, I can super jump after you. I'm still trying to learn to apply that in my gameplay, but it's definitely cool when you see someone do it, but uh, yeah. Excellent. Now we'll begin your final training to prepare you to truly master Spark. Well done. As long as you keep... Yeah, I, they, they need to fix that. Because you can't read the last dialogue line because it automatically brings you to the... Um... Windscreen. But that's fine. Part 2. Three, two one. Now we're playing a Zurong. Z Zurong? I, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, let us not waste any more time. It is time for you to master the Spark now. Spark allows you to seamlessly weld your attacks together into artful strings of blistering speed. Let's get your let's get you warmed up with your basic attacks. I have set up some targets for you to practice with on the ground. Use your down attacks to make quick work of them. This you teaching about your tilts. Such vigor. Do not worry. I have plenty of spares. Jumping attacks or you know jumping neutral. Now, let's try this again using Spark, with my assistance. The lightning around your health bar represents your Spark. And it allows you to rush out, out of your attacks before your opponent can react. Now attack the next target. Every blow gives you a Spark, allowing you to hound your opponent both on the ground and in the air. Try breaking these targets without landing. Now break the targets faster. Excellent. You can often gauge a warrior's strength by their mastery of the spark. Now having mastered the basics of offense, you're ready to begin your journey. Player one wins. So yeah, that's kind of just a basic example of how you can apply, you know, spark, um, like with hitting somebody. You hit them, you spark. It's like L canceling, but you don't have to land, I guess. You cancel the animation regardless. Like, you do it, and you cancel. Because you can even cancel on whiff, as I showed before. Three, two, this is the character I main, Ashani. Uh, welcome to my dojo. I am Kabuto, but you will refer to me as Master. You are lucky Wei Shen has already left. I would be a poor teacher not to send some challenges his way. Let us start with your special techniques. Every warrior has their own distinct set. Your Proton Punch, for example, is slow, but powerful. Basically a fo uh, Falcon Punch, but it goes a little further. Good, and it doesn't have that much knockback. Good, you have four different special moves, including that punch. Let us see them. Your Electro Arc is a swift kick that hits in front of and above you, lifting you into the air. So this is uh, her recovery. It's basically a flash kick, um, from, if you know Guile from Street Fighter. Um, your Discharge has great range and covers both in front of and behind you. Her down special. Um, on the ground, it may be charged for a greater range. When used in the air, your discharge comes out as a strong bolt of lightning, allowing you to strike opponents below you. Electric Hook has two parts. It's unique in that you may use any of uh, any of your other special techniques after the first strike. While both on the ground and uh, possessing a spark, you may cancel any of your normal strikes into a special. Very good. Now for something a bit more advanced. While both on the ground and possessing a spark, you may cancel any of your normal strikes into a special. Invigorating, is it not? I have faith you know how to attack your opponent. But what will you do when you have been struck yourself? Oh no, you're falling. Quickly use your electro arc to recover. So, unlike a uh, game, or I guess, I'm pretty sure it's just uh, Rivals of Aether, um, this game does have ledges. Um... Good, good. You made it back to safety. Your Electro Arc will be one um, of your main tools in recovering. It seems you're in quite a predicament again. Use your Electro Arc to recover. Using Rush can also help you recover. 
So the recovery in this game is is kind of stupid, and by stupid I mean like great. Like I, I think it goes into it in a second, but like you can be off stage, use like multiple different recovery methods. Like you use your up B, say you don't make it, spark off of that. Say you somehow still haven't made it, wall jump, and then. Uh, I think you can then after you've used your spark you can still rush so that's two technical that's two technically two rushes an up an up special and then a wall jump yeah see like right there i jumped i rushed and then i up specialed and then wall jump excellent now for a test I'm impressed. Usually, new disciples empty their stomachs during the warp phase. Senior, uh, senior discipline. Dis ah, I can't fucking talk. I'm sorry. Senior disciples as well. Player one wins. All right, that was the tutorial. I pretty simple stuff, uh, you know, theoretically. Um, but it can be a little to learn at first. I'm just gonna hop in training mode real quick. So I play uh, Ashani. I will just show their, her basic outfit real quick. So that's her normal um, outfit, but I play uh, this one. I love orange. Orange is one of my favorite colors. Um, and then I also play Erda. Um, it's her basic. I think this one right here is her basic, um, but I play this one. Uh, but I'm just going to show Ashani real quick. Get rid of that because I don't need another player. So just to, I'm just gonna hop in the trading real quick and just show you how crazy it can get. In theory, anyway, because I'm just doing this on a computer. But you know, you're you're dash dancing, you're rushing all over the place, and then that was pretty bad. But uh, hold on a second, I'm so bad at doing things on CPUs. Okay, let me let me turn the CPU on then. Let me see if that makes it any better. This is really bad, but, you know. Yeah, like that. That was good. That would have been cool if I landed that. But but you get the point. Things, things can get pretty crazy pretty fast. Um... So, uh, one thing I didn't go over, uh, which I, I was literally just looking into um, before I started recording. So, each character kind of has like a different type of gimmick to them. So, as you can see under Ashani's life bar, um, she has batteries. So, um, if you press the grab or attack button while she's doing a special, like say I do Proton Punch. If I hold forward or backwards and press an attack button, she'll go further. So... That's the distance I go normally. Uh, or, hold on one second. Uh, let me stand, like, right here. So if I stand right there, Erda won't get hit. But if I... As you see, I have one battery left. If I do Proton Punch, hold forward, and then press attack or grab, um, she'll get hit. So you gain her batteries by sparking. So, you know, hit, you get, hit, you get a hit, spark, now I have batteries. You can do this off of any of her special moves. Um, side special. Actually, sorry, one second. Yeah, there we go. Um, I li almost never use this, because it just, like, until recently, it didn't really make sense to me. I was like, I didn't know how to activate it. But, um... Yeah. And then... Oh, sorry, that was an accident. I meant, I meant the down special. So, as you see in the air, that's how her normal does, does special looks. But if I... Yep, I can move it forward. Move it up or down. I think you can move it any direction. But I've only tried up and down. 
Yeah, you can move it anyway, any direction you want. Yeah, it's like that, something like that. Um, what else? Well, this, uh, I, I swore the tutorial had a section where it talked about shielding before, but maybe not. So, um, at least for me, if you press left trigger, uh, L2, whatever controller you may be using, um, you bring up a shield, and uh, out of shield while you're holding it, if you press uh, your you know attack button, you'll grab. There's also just a dedicated grab button. Um, there's no pummels in this game. There's only grab and then throw in a direction. But um, out of shield, I what button is it? Um, yeah, if you if you hold forward um, and then press the attack button, you'll do like a dash forward with it. And if your opponent attacks you while you're doing that, they'll get pushed back. Let me see if I can show it off. Okay, there we go. That, that, I, I sort of did it there. But, um, yeah. And then another thing um, that the tutorial didn't show you was every stock, the stocks are the little crystals above your life bar. Um, and I'll get into more of the life bar in a minute. Um, every stock, you get a burst, which is, like, if you play Guilty Gear, they have bursts. So if you're getting hit, just press uh, both the triggers and you'll burst. Um, and, and if your opponent's uh, like in the area when you burst, they get pushed back. So as you can see, the life bar is... Uh, my health bar is full. I have 150. Um, Erda has 34. So um, the lower your percent, like in Smash, the farther your knockback is. Um, so when you get below zero... Let me show that real quick. You have these little stalks. I believe it's four of them. Um, I may have accidentally hit her one more, one too many times. When you get to the last stalk, I'm pretty sure any attack will kill. Uh, maybe except a jab. Like say I grab. She's dead. So I think it's like any attack, attack except a jab. Um, cause jabs don't really do anything. Maybe the full combo jab, like all three hits, or the third hit, maybe that would kill. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Is there, I don't know if there's any other mechanics that I'm forgetting about. Um, the rush, the super jump, all that stuff went over in the tutorial. The health bar, the character gimmicks. I mean, at least the character I play. I also play Erda, and she has a gimmick where... Or a mechanic where if you do her grab and then press the rush button, she'll drag them further in whatever direction you choose. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I've only really explored, like, three of the characters. Like, I've, I've, I play Ashani and Erda, and then sometimes I play Zurong. I haven't really touched Wei Shen, Raymer, uh, uh, Affy, and Galu. Easy and Kid, I haven't really touched them. They're they're kind of weird characters for me. Like they, they these two have like floating shit, and then he does stuff with projectiles and grenades, and it's just like ah, too much for my P brain. I just want to go fast and hit people and just not have to think. Um, but yeah, let's see if I can get a game. Charging up. Because you know you you can show things in practice, but it. Doesn't really come together until you're in an actual match. And of course, whenever I'm recording, I can never get a match. <laughs> At least not, not to start. I might be here a second. Oh, another thing. Um, so you can charge, you know, this game has like smash attacks. Or not ten, ten, technically has smash attacks. Your tilts also function as your smash attacks. So you can charge them. And not only can you charge your grounded smash attacks, or your grounded tilts, you can charge your aerials. It's like that. Okay, we found an opponent. Great. I might get fucking demolished, but that's okay. Alright, great. Okay, that's a glitch. That's not supposed to be there. <laughs>
No, well, she killed herself, so. We got the stock anyway. God damn. I mean, th that's just an easy kill. She has literally one hit. <laughs> I'm just trying to be fancy, but I'm not, I'm not I'm not good with her proton punch. Well, I, we we take those, I suppose. It wasn't a super interesting match, but you know, hopefully they give me a rematch so I can. Yeah, okay, great, great, great. Like I need, I need at least two matches in this episode, this video. Okay, so they're playing. Ra is it Raym? I can't remember his name. Like I said, I don't play him, so. I, I didn't mean to taunt. I accidentally pressed the D-pad. I'm sorry. Uh, so another thing to note, this game does have rollback. So if you're worried like, oh, this game's netcode is bad or something, and, and you're worried that would keep you from playing, no, the game has fantastic rollback. Like, as you can see, our ping is like 115, which, I mean, it's not that's not terrible, but it's still kind of high.
Oh, God, I'm dead. <laughs> nice shot. Oh god. He's, he's teleporting. Huh? That definitely registered as me hitting. I'm like, we're trying to, I'm trying to be fancy, but it's not working, but if he rematches me again, I'm going to play Urda. Yeah, okay, let's play, let's, let's play Urda. I'll show you, I'll show you some Urda. So as I said before, um, well, actually I didn't, I didn't really talk about Urda. Urda is pretty much the grappler of this game. Um, she's kind of slow and has a bigger hurt box, um, but she does crazy damage. Damn, your life was almost over. If I had charged that up. Even like a second less, you 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 were dead. Like as, as I as I just showed, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have any wall jumps or anything left. Did you give up? Alright, we will take that one as well. <laughs> but yeah, when when you're just getting fucked on, it it can be pretty bad. Because she does damage so quick. I mean, granted, really, with how the game works, really anyone can. But, yeah. I think, I think we'll play one more. This will be the last one.
All right, I think he's playing his main again. Oh god. Oh, okay. We got disconnected. Okay. Um, the music for the match is still playing. Um, I'll see if we can get another one. Obviously, the game is still a uh, work in progress. It's uh, open alpha right now, so there are still some kinks. Also, his connection probably wasn't the best. So... You know, I won't. I won't entirely fault that on the game, because um, he was like teleporting and stuff. All right, I don't think we're gonna find anybody, unfortunately, so anybody else. Um, so we'll just call that there for now. Um, but yeah, um, I hope what you saw of the game could lead to you to playing it, because um, I want as many. Like with Friday Night Funkin', I want as many people to play this shit as possible. It is so much fun and. As much as I love platform fighters like um, Slap City, um, Rivals of Ether, and then even even Smash itself, like I love those games, and I want to like I want to play Melee, but I can't, like I just can't. I'm try I'm trying to learn, but like this is the platform fighter for me. It's it's easy, it's easy to learn, hard to master, but it just feels so. Like, it feels so good and free. Like, there are very little limits to what you can do. You can do an attack, and then what you do off of that attack is up to you. You can spark, you can not spark, you can spark in this, 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 this direction, super jump, then, like, it... it I'm sorry, I'm, just, I'm all over the place, but I, I fucking love this game. And, um... As I said before, uh, right above me, the alpha is up until the 15th, but if you go to their website, which I will link in the description, um, you can, I think it's like 20 bucks if you want to get in on the private alpha, when the public one goes down, um, you can also join the Discord, I mean, I, I'm not really a big Discord person, so I don't really talk that much, but I participated in one of their tournaments, so the tournament, uh, the Discord was good for, um, talking about the tournament, um, I believe they do run a tournament every time the alpha is open, so there'll probably be another one. Don't quote me on that. You can check their Twitter for that stuff. Uh, but yeah, um, I probably might do another video on it, or maybe stream it or something. But for right now, that was Rushdown Revo. I hope you all check it out, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, y'all have a nice day.